Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So this is going to be my, I think it's going to be update number seven for my project polish. And I am a little bit late with these updates I'm thinking. So I'm just going to go and get started with the whole video and updating. So as of previously, I have finished three nail polishes throughout this year. And currently that's all I have. I have not finished any additional nail polishes since the last update but here is my color wheel which also can you, as you can see if you have seen my videos before means that I have not been adding anything extra this time either because I do have seven nail polishes that are currently in my rotation so this is the ones that I have and I'm just gonna go through them one by one as far as and to show you how far I've come with them. And the first one here that we have is this purple plummy shade here. And that one is from La Beria collection in the shade B16, which is this one right here. I have used this one two times since the last update and it is such a small amount left on the very bottom that I cannot make any marks and it is so dark to even show you any marks so um, but I am like really really close to the end I can see through the actual glass I don't know if you can but I can definitely see through the glass inside and it's just a very small amount on the bottom of the glass of this little container left so I am hoping to use this one now throughout the fall it's not one of my favorite shades, it is very sheer and I'm just looking forward to have it out of my collection. And this one here is one of the ones that I have finished before, which is from Depend in the shade 041, I think. And the next one here, this kind of darker pink shade, is this one from Cressy and it doesn't have a shade. And I have not touched this one since the last update, so... Last time I was there and I am still currently at that spot right there. I just have not been feeling like this shade at all, unfortunately. And the shade after that one is this darker shade here, which comes off as black, but it's actually a very dark blue shade with some dark blue glitters in it. As I have said previously, it is a very bad quality nail polish, so I really don't like to be using it. And I'm not fond of it at all. So this one is from Nordic Cap Star Nails. And it is this one right here. So I have not touched this one since the last update. Or at least not enough to make any significant progress. So I am still down to that mark right there. I don't know if you can see it a little bit there. But I have a long way to go with this one. And... As I said, it is a very bad quality. The glitter loses its color really fast, so the nails look chipped within minutes from putting it on, so I'm not happy with that one at all. Next one here is this green shade here. This is Grassy Green from Eve's Rocher, and that one is finished. And then this kind of a pastel -y baby pink shade. That one is from Topshop in the shade Daydream 101. And this is what that one looks like. And previously I was at this line there. And this is my progress as of now. This last line here. So I do have the slightest little less progress. But I promise you I have used this one at least five or six times in between these last two lines. And this one is just not budging anywhere anytime soon unfortunately. The next one here is also a green kind of teal shade and this one is the one that I have finished previously as well. This one is from Mavala in the shade Aquamarine. And the following here is the one that I have on my nails currently. And this one is from H&M in the shade Natural Pink. And this is what that one looks like. So last time I was right there. And currently I am down to this line right here. So I only have this little bit left and this is a little mini nail polish which I'm hoping to be able to finish before the end of the year. And this shade of 
nail polish is actually not difficult for me to wear during the fall season so I don't think that would be a problem to use that up. And the last two shades, the first is this kind of rich blue shade here and this one is from She Bunny in the shade 028 and this is what that one looks like. And previously I was at this mark right here, I don't know how to show you this. I was at this mark right here and now I am down to this mark here so I do have a little bit of progress as you can see there. Uh, I have used this one quite a lot in between and the bottle is a lot wider here right now so I'm hoping that my progress after this gets a little bit better and also this shade will be kind of difficult to wear throughout the fall and Maybe not so much in the winter, but the fall season, so I would hope to have this one finished fairly soon, I hope. And the last shade here is this kind of a white shade. And this one is from the pen in the shade 031. And the last time I put this in, this was where I started. And this is where I am now, so I have used this one once and I have used it underneath a nail polish once as well, so... That is it for this little update. Those were my shades and as you can see I do have still seven of them going strong and I am hoping to have some of them finished by the end of the year and I really do hope to be able to add some new nail polishes before the end of the year because these shades, none of them say winter and fall to me so I would love to be able to add in a little bit more richer and darker colors into this color wheel. I am so thankful that you watched this video. I do hope that you like it if you like it or don't like it if you don't like it. Um, thank you so much for watching and I do hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.